I'm very keenly supportive of the Artemis mission and going back to the moon because in a sense, what we're going to be doing, along with just creating a, a permanent manned presence on the moon, creating the potential to establish the moon as an ark that can serve as a repository of our technology, of our knowledge, of our science, of our art, of everything in the case of cosmic disaster and give us the means to reboot civilization, you know, as efficiently and as quickly as possible without having to reinvent the wheel. To a lot of people listening, yeah, this is just going to sound like science fiction until the next Tunguska comes along and wipes out a city. We've got to face that reality, and I think we're overdue. What happens if we go into a what's been referred to by astronomers as a bombardment epoch, where you have this fragmenting object, whether it's asteroidal or comet or one a hybrid in between them, this fragmenting creating multiple impactors, and then those are littering the inner solar system, and particularly uh, the plane of the ecliptic that the orbit of the Earth is is found in. We go through a period like what appears to have occurred throughout the history of this planet is that the impacts record does not appear to be uniformly distributed through time. It seems to be clustered, which again supports this model that there are times when there's more stuff orbiting the sun and in the Earth's orbit and more potential for the Earth to collide with this stuff. And not only that, but it's also potentially a resource base that we could be using.